sir yes sir we live and we back man you already know who it is it's your boy goose aka Chandler blakely man here with the golden goose dfs show here to talk some basketball on this saturday man i ain't forget about y'all y'all know the videos dropping let's get into it but before we do hit that subscribe button you know what we got it's the lineup review all right let's jump into it man solid night on both platforms last night uh triple the buy-in on dk double the buy-in on fan duel let's get into it if you caught the starting five now my best lineup uh on dk was just a slight variation to the starting five i gave on the video yesterday if you caught the starting five yesterday you know when i did my starting five i had nikola vucevic in there i told you i was slightly nervous just because of marketing and pulling them out of the paint hurting his rebounding and that would actually happen you know what i'm saying he didn't ha he didn't give us a lot as far as rebounding okay night scoring the ball so uh but in this particular lineup my five dollar single entry right here we came in 176 place uh put up 321 right here I ran that same starting five I gave out and just switched in Olenek. Olenek at 4,800, 4, I thought a guy who could see more minutes, uh, especially since he got in foul trouble the first game. And we seen Olenek be a solid fantasy producer. Olenek has actually broken slates before. So I put him in here at 4,800 just to get different at Sunday. And this singer itch, we got him at 1.6% on, man. He had a monster night for us, gave us 40 DK points, all right? The rest of the starting five still remain. I gave you Ty Tyrese Halliburton at 37%. He had a 51-point night. Could have been much bigger, man. He only played 27 minutes. I didn't get a chance to see the game was working. I got to get into it. I think, did he get in foul trouble or anything? I seen he had like four fouls. I don't know. So I got to watch that. But 27 minutes, he could have had a much bigger night for us here. Jalen Green, guys, got him at 12%. I told you going right back to the way. I told you he just had to shoot better to be a more efficient scorer. He came out there and dropped 33 real-life points. The price is only going to go up. You probably ain't going to get him at this ownership no more this year. So, yeah, Jalen Green's a nice play right here at 12.6% on. Uh, the Keldon Johnson was the other player in the starting five, 6,800. Just ran him back. Like we told you we liked that game environment between the Spurs and the Pacers. We got exactly what we wanted, a high-scoring game here. I was actually rooting for a little overtime in this one. We probably really could have took this down here in this spot. But Keldon Johnson, he was okay, thirty right at 39 fantasy points for it. Thought he would have a little bigger night. I thought he would push 50 in this spot, all right? And the last person in the starting five was Josh Hart, 5,400. Just want to get a piece of this uh, Portland's Phoenix game. I talked about him Hart being one of the best rebounding bigs in the game. Uh, one of the best rebounding wings, I'm sorry, in the NBA. And with Nurkic not seeing big minutes the first game, I thought that trend continues. He could possibly see a double-double. Fell a couple rebounds short, but gave us an okay performance at 27 fantasy points. Then finished out the lineup, man. I went with Jason Tatum here at 8,800. Uh, like the price on, like the matchup. No, he's the guy over there. So uh, it gave us forty some fantasy points right here in the heat. I, I, in hindsight, probably could have went a little different. Though the Heat is uh, historically a pretty tough defensive team, and Jimmy Butler's a tough defender. Thought Jimmy would guard him a little bit, especially if he got hot. So probably could have went a little different here, but it was an okay play for us right here. And then rounding out, man, Devin Vassell just wanted to, like I said, get a piece of that Indiana Spurs game, man. So got another piece up with Devin Vassell here. He was a little chalk at 33%, but dropped 41 DK points for us. And then at the fourth spot, just went south. Uh, all Dama here. He just been very solid in the um, – with his minutes, man, I think even last night he had 31 fantasy points and only gave you eight real life points. That's the type of player I like, type of guy who can get it done in a plethora of ways. So he just been very solid. Don't know how it's gonna can don't know how it's gonna go when uh Dylan Brooks comes back and the rest of those guys. But for right now, he's been a very solid play. He can get it done in many forms for you over here. All right, and that was that over on FanDuel. I think it was the ten dollar single entry over here. We came in two hundred fifty third place. Uh, nice little double up over here. Three forty eight was the score on FanDuel. Starting five over here as is. I gave you Halliburton, Benedict Mathurin. We went Keldon Johnson. Jabari Smith, who let us down, and Nikola Vucevic, guys. 
Solid. Uh, it was still a solid starting five over here. Jabari Smith just uh, didn't shoot the ball well, man. Then needed a, expected a little more scoring from him, especially in this matchup, especially with the way the game finished. One twenty nine and one twenty two. Thought he'd have a little bigger piece of that pie. Thirty two percent on though. Twenty twenty two fantasy points. He didn't kill us, you know. So uh, finishing out this lineup, I played Damian Lillard. Oh, too far. We got some Damian Lillard in here. Like I said, just getting back to that Phoenix Portland game. I liked that matchup for uh as you can see here as I went Lillard and ran it back with Devin Booker. I wanted a you know, a higher scoring affair. Well I needed a higher this is still nice right here, but I needed a higher scoring affair with some of the other games scoring as high as they did yesterday. But Lillard and Booker was solid for us, man. Lillard gave us fifty three fantasy points right at like eight K over here on FanDuel. Then Booker dropped a solid right at forty five for us at twenty five percent ownership got some scotty barnes in here and as you can see kelly odin it guy i just like that i liked him as a play yesterday overall on both sides under one percent on with the 40 burger definitely help us uh finishing the money over here but that's enough of the review man let's get into today's starting five on this saturday got two of them cooked up for you man i believe they pretty fire on my end if i do say so myself let's get into it man at the point guard give me tyrese halliburton this is going right back to the well, man. I, he played 27. He showed you he can get it done in limited minutes. He got it done in 27 last night, man. If he get his full 30, I know it's the second night of a back-to-back, -back, but he's a young player. I typically worry about back-to-backs deeper in the season and with older players and, you know, guys who've been around for a little bit. He's still a young player. I'm not worried about him on his back-to-back. -back. only thing I hold him back is his coaching limited in minutes, but – he is the team. This is his team, guys. He's a double-double with assist threat every night. I told y'all, as long as his teammates hit a shot, he probably give you a double-double every night with scoring and assists. That's the type of point guard he is. I like getting to him at 8K. Prices just won't rise on. I'm going to keep playing. He's probably going to be chalky. If he not, he should be. So I hope he ain't as chalky. But give me Tyrese Halliburton. Coming at shooting guard, just give me PG-13. No Kawhi, no John Wall over there. Hey, I... It's been a while since we've seen it, but Paul George with no Kawhi has been a play for me for the last couple of seasons that they've been in L.A. So I'm going to continue it right here at 9300 I like this price on him. He should just do everything for this uh, Clippers team. He's a legit he's a legit triple-double threat for real because he definitely going to hit the boys. He can, he can give up some few assists. It just depends on how aggressive he want to be offensively. He's a slight triple-double threat. I like getting the PG-13 in this spot with no Kawhi. Coming at small forward. Give me Michael Porter Jr. Going against the Oklahoma, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> Going against this Thunder team right here, game. They expect it to be a blowout. And the things I like to do in blowouts, people like to go look to the superstars, and they they worried about the superstar. But the thing that makes the game blow out is the role players having big nights. You know, them scoring well, which in turn helps me get some leverage on any jokage ownership here in this spot. So I like getting the Michael Porter Jr. because if he's having a ceiling game, the chances that uh, Jokic is having a ceiling game is um is is it's a little bit smaller. So give me Michael Porter Jr. You know you're gonna get the minutes. You know you're gonna take the shots. He's a guy that can get piping hot. And if he sees one or two of them go in, he will. He does. He do not mind keep putting them up there, man. Give me Michael Porter Jr. Right here at 5800. All right. At the power four spot. Same thing, man. Same concept. This Milwaukee Bucks going against the Houston Rockets team that is just atrocious on defense, fast-paced game. This is expected to be a blowout. This is going to going Bobby Porter's give me a little leverage on the Giannis ownership. If it's going to blow out like everybody think it is, because that's what everybody's worried about, but they're still playing Giannis anyway. He's going to probably be the most on play. But give me Bobby Porter's because he's going to see minutes. And he's aggressive on the offensive end, and he hits the board. So going against a fast-paced, horrible defensive team is a recipe for success for him. And in so many ways, he can see extra minutes. He's, he's locked in for 2025, I believe. I can't – nothing's guaranteed. But he's locked in for 20 to 25. If anybody gets in foul trouble like Giannis or uh, Lopez, he's going to see more minutes. If it's a blowout, he should see more minutes. Give me Bobby Porter's right here in this spot. And then coming at the center, man, we just seen that Al Horford is out, so that's no Robert Williams, no Al Horford. They're going to need a big, man. I don't care who starts now that we have. I don't know if Noah Vonley started. I don't care if he does. I don't care if he starts. I hope Grant Williams starts so everybody can go there. But give me Noah Vonley at 3,400. One, he's been playing. He's been seeing minutes, 15 to 20 minutes the first couple of games. 
They're going to need a big body. Now. Orlando has too much size in the front court, man. Wendell Carter Jr., Bancaro. Then you got uh, Bo Bo coming off the bench. Bomba. Like, it's too much size in the front court. They're going to need more than just Grant Williams. We haven't seen Blake Griffin play. I don't mind if you want to take a chance and get the Blake Griffin right here, but this is the spot to get your value right here. This Boston front court. It's going to be one of those three guys. Grant uh, Blake or Noah Vonley. I think it's Noah Vonley. That's who I'm rolling with, all right? They're going to just start in five for DK, man. Tyrese Halliburton, Paul George, Michael Porter Jr., Bobby Porter, and Noah Vonley. About to go look at fan duel, man. You might well go and hit that like button. I know I'm blazing y'all right now, man. Fan duel coming up, man. What's up, man? Go and hit that subscribe button, all right? Let's get to it. At the top, stand with Tyrese Halliburton, 8,200. I still think he's too cheap on FanDuel for all the reasons I just broke down to you on DraftKings. Give me Tyrese Halliburton. At the shooting guard, give me Donovan Mitchell. If you've been watching me for a while, you know there's one thing I believe in. That's point Donovan Mitchell, and that's what we have here in Cleveland. No Darius Garland over here. I don't care who stars in the backcourt with him. Donovan Mitchell is going to be the point. If he ain't, he could be the shooting guard or whatever, but he's going to do most of the ball handling, and that's point Donovan Mitchell. Give me Donovan Mitchell, especially at 8500 Love this price. like this matchup going against the Bulls. Coming in at small four, staying with the kid, man. PG-13, 9K, I'll take it on FanDuel. Let's get it. Everything I just broke down to you, love the matchups, a legit triple-double threat. All right, slightly. Now, it ain't that crazy, but slightly. Give me PG-13 at 9K. Coming in at the power for Noah Vonley, 3,800. I told you I'm rocking with Noah Vonley. Feel free to go Blake. Feel free to go Grant Williams, whoever you want to. I'm just telling you, they're going to need some size down there for Orlando. They can let it go small they want to. They're going to get run off the court. They won't get run off the court. Orlando ain't that good. I'm over-exaggerating, but still, they're going to need some size. It's Noah Vonley for me, man, 3,800, all right? And then rounding out that center, give me DeMontis Sabonis at 8K. Man, I like this price on him. He may go want to go to him. He sucked the first game for whatever reason, a plethora of reasons. They blit, how they defended him, whatever the case may be. I like him in this matchup against the Clippers. I expect him to bounce back right here. Uh, legit, he should walk in the gym with a double double. I think he comes out and is aggressive. Usually, solid players like Sabonis, they know they had a bad game, and usually coming out the next game, they want to try to get it going early, or the coaches want to try it, whatever the case may be. I expect him to come out running. He's a Definitely, I think he's going to walk in there with a slight double-double today, man. I think, I think I'm talking at least 16 and 12 out there. But I'm expecting a nice performance. I love his price right here on DeMontis Sabonis in this matchup. Give me a little running back with Paul George, like a little mini game stack. But I like it. Let's get to it. There you have it, man. You're starting five on FanDuel, DeMontis Sabonis, Noah Vonley, Paul George, Donovan Mitchell, and Tyrese Halliburton, man. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pool. You know they're going to be in mind. Y'all know the motto, man. Chances make champions. Y'all green up, man. I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it.